Greetings, this is August 11th at 8 p.m. and we're going to take a look at the latest satellite update from 6.40 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, jumping to windy first off, it's coming from the south at 9 kilometers an hour and it's kind of going over the hilltops and splitting, going either side, east or west. Uh, I want to jump in first to some uh, areas where concern has ar arisen. Um, this is the chasm area and we're looking at uh, some hot spots that have developed. You may be seeing smoke in the area. Um, it looks like, <coughs> excuse me, there's two or three uh, pattern burns in there. There's one hot spot that has been troublesome in the past. Now I'm going to put some conjecture into this because I did hear uh, some chatter that uh, a witness was seeing black smoke. If a uh, forest area starts raging, oftentimes you'll see this uh, uh, dense gray and orange uh, smoke going into plumes. And then of course, when it dies down a bit, you'll see that thick white or gray smoke. Now I'm not saying that there is a controlled ignition going on in the area, uh, but with the wind in their favor, they may be attempting to clean up some troublesome spots and reduce the fuel in that immediate region. Let's jump over to the area at uh, north of Highway 99, west of Highway 97. Um, I am seeing a couple of outlying spots north of the Aerostone Park, uh, way up behind east of uh, Scotty Creek 20 mile area. Again, there will be little flashpoints that occur within the perimeter and I, we've kind of seen that all along. This uh, back at uh, Maiden Creek area we are looking at the six hour map so this is all of the activity that's occurred within the last six hours and <clears throat> I want you to look to the northwest there in the burn area. Uh, there's this triangular shape and that to me I would interpret as a, some sort of controlled procedure where they're cutting off flanks and uh, reducing fuel around a hot spot. I'm going to uh, jump to a satellite image of that area close up and you can see there is a lot of activity that's been going on for the last 24 hours. It's going down into Maiden Creek. It's coming up the other side slightly. Uh, it's right around the power line. And uh, that's Highway 97 in the top right-hand corner. It's activity primarily that's been occurring over the last 24 hours with these new, it appears, uh, controlled signatures placed on top of it in the last six hours. I'd like to zoom back out. Uh, we're looking at the southern portion of the Elephant Hill fire. This is in the last six hours before this update at 6.40 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And here you can really see that patterning going on a diagonal um, uh, southwest to northeast extensively over the eastern flank and over that southwestern flank. So I'm going to suggest that a lot of the new hotspots we're seeing are uh, controlled ignitions and or controlled um, patterning over specific areas of volatility. I want to jump now to the northeast. Uh, we're looking at that six hour time frame. This is crucial. We can see the most recent new hotspots that are appearing on infrared. I'm not seeing any distance closer to Young Lake. Uh, I am seeing those a little bit of easterly movement south of Upper Loon Lake uh, towards the Vedette area, but again, it appears to be within that existing fire perimeter that we were looking at last update. Uh, here's an overview of the area uh, on a satellite image, and you can see the terrain it's it's uh, coming from west of Young Lake down into uh, the Loon area, the valley there, and then going back up the hillside. We're jumping over to the eastern flank, and this is where a big battle is on right now. 
it appears to be showing hot spots one kilometer west of uh, McLeod Road. It says on the map, uh, I'm not sure where the old Scotty Road, if that is it. Uh, also, the Vedette Dead Man Road, uh, approximately two, two and a half kilometers from that. Uh, this is right in those gullies uh, close to the hoodoos. Here is a satellite overview, and you will know the area better than I. Uh, you know what you're looking at in these specific regions if you're from there. You can see a lot of activity on the top in the forested area. Um, they may be using those cut blocks to aid in fire guard. So it'll be interesting in the future to look at Google uh, refreshes on their satellite data and get a better indication of where some of these burns have been occurring. This again, an overview of the area in the last six hours, very busy, uh, some random volatility, uh, just smattered over the top by, uh, it looks like controlled infrared patterns or signatures. Uh, that's what's causing a lot of that density that occurred in the last six hours. Uh, there may have been a lot of uh, air, air activity, a lot of uh, cats and dozers working to push straight lines through the fire, uh, the main fire portions. Here is the 24-hour map. That's where all the volatility is, and you can see towards the center, uh, southeast of Chasm, north of Aristone Park, there's flashpoints. Hot spots are popping up. The wind has shifted, so fresh oxygen may be coming into some of those areas. Here's the perimeter. I apologize if I'm going so fast. I just I want to get it to you as quick as I can. The We can see that extension on the perimeter into the Dead Man River Valley. I'm not seeing any extension closer to Young Lake on the northeast side, but I am seeing a lot of these sparks or random spots that really are attempting to get there. Um, the total count, 144,289 hectares. Uh, I'll do the math later. Uh, 29,399 hotspots in the running total. Uh, that, as I recall, that does seem significant, maybe up to 1,000 new hotspots. And I will suggest that in the last six hours, a lot of that has been planned and controlled by our wildfire fighters to eliminate fuel around specific hotspots. This is a shot from Big Bar. Is that beautiful or what? I see a bit of sunshine coming through. This is a shot from about three weeks ago um, in the chasm area. It will shine again. It's a beautiful sky, big sky country up there. Um, when you can get up there, check it out. It's fantastic. It's uh, just full of geological and historical legacies. Be safe, everyone.